Hi, we're being asked to figure out what f prime of 1 is for this equation. This is fairly complicated because of the nomenclature they use f of x here. So just to make things easier in writing this thing out, I'm going to use y instead of f of x. So I'm going to rewrite this with y. y plus x squared y cubed is equal to 10. Notice that the information they gave us here, f of 1 equals 2, is just a data point. That tells us at x equals 1, y is going to be equal to 2. So it's a, it's a point that's on the curve, 1 comma 2. It's an x and a y. And if you want to, you can plug that in here to the equation to see that it works, but it, it does work. To figure out the derivative, I'm going to use implicit differentiation to do that because I've got y's and x's inter intermingled here and it's just going to be easier for me to do that. So the derivative of, uh, so I'm going to apply the derivative operator to both sides. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. The second expression is a product, so I need to use the product rule. Uh, the product rule states that the derivative of the product of two things is the derivative of the first, so I take the derivative of x squared with respect to x, that's 2x, times the second, plus the, deriv uh, the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y cubed is going to be 3 y squared, but because y is something complicated, I have to take use the chain rule to uh, that and multiply by the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of what's inside, derivative of y is dy dx. And then it's equal to the derivative of t uh, constant 10 is 0. I'm going to gather d dy dx's together everything that's not dy dx, I'm going to move on to the other side. I'm going to factor out the dy dx so I can get a, a single expression uh, in terms of dy dx. So dy dx times 1 gives me the first part here, and then uh, I've got this part here, which is so plus, I'm going to put the 3 first, 3x squared y squared and then equals, and I'm going to move this part over to the other side, so I'll subtract that from both sides to get minus 2xy cubed. And now I can divide both sides by 1 plus 3x squared y squared. 1 plus 3x squared y squared. And that gets rid of it on the left side, and I'm left with dy dx. So now I'm being asked to find the value of this derivative at uh, x equals 1. And so to do that, um, again, this is the same as f prime of 1 is equal to dy dx of 1, which will be equal to x equals 1, y equals 2, so minus 2 times 1 times 2 cubed divided by 1 plus 3 times 1 squared times 2 squared which is equal to uh, 2 to the fourth power is negative 16 well 16 with the negative, negative 16, and then 1 plus uh, 3 times 4 is, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So the value of the derivative at 1 is negative 16 over 13.